Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here, back with another episode of our Bears franchise, and we are in playoff football NFC Conference Championship against the Giants. Tell me what they're best at. Their defense is good at stopping the run. Do they have any players? Do. Hunter Williams will be out for this game, and we do get Denzel Mims. We're going to run the football. Maybe. Play the full game. It's going to be our uniforms. They'll be in their whites. We'll be in our blacks. You know what? Let's make them have their reds. Reds. There we go. In case there is snow, we'll be able to see both sides. I'm sorry, X Factors here, Saquon Barkley, Jerry Alexander, Roquan Smith, Clayton Judge, Cleo Mack, Allen Robinson, Harold Landry, Denzel Mims, and Matthew Atkins. Let's go. Let's do this, baby. I'm going to go to the bathroom right quick while this loads. I like to have these little previews anyway, so I would watch them in the first part. It is a night game. We likely know who is in the Super Bowl for the AFC. It's the Chicago Bears taking on the New York Giants. Now this great venue has hosted some memorable playoff games over the years, and these Bear fans are hoping to make some new memories today at Soldier Field in Chicago. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl, and we've got a classic in store between the New York Giants. Do you not actually know who? In the AFC, we'll, we will be playing. I don't think the score has been set yet for the first game, I think. Which is weird, because this is a night game, so we should know who on the other side. And we do! It's going to be the Steelers by three over the Bengals. It'll be Brent Green going to his first Super Bowl instead of Joe Burrow. And here it is, fighting to play the Steelers in... The playoffs. The Giants are going to kneel this one down. We're going to see if we can uh, contain Gary Higgins in this offense. 34 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. We knew he was injured when we played him or the week before. So we didn't see him get a small stint. And if that's the case, he could have had even better numbers. It's all about bottling up Saquon Barkley. That's still on the outside, and Ingram is taken down by Eddie Jackson. Not that. Ooh, and that's just off the mark intended for Slayton. A little uh, contact there that's a little suspect, but... And there's pressure in there! He goes down. He goes, I can't talk. And that's Hakeem Hicks with the sack. Big time players make big time plays. Big time situations. And that is Hakeem Hicks to the T. Here we go, baby. On the outside. I'm going to make a move, but not going to go anywhere as Clayton Judge has good field position off that punt the defense did its job force a three and out Clayton Judge it's time to man the ball out it'll be difficult to run the football but we are going to try we're going to start with a little play action to start the day Denzel Mims checks in in his first game back from injury Judge is going to take this, and he has some room. Try to slide, not fumble the football there. Jerry Alexander is just on our tail. 
make sure they take some of the pressure off. See here, can we get a good? We could have probably went deep with that, but we're gonna play it safe. We're gonna we're gonna get the easy completions as opposed to gonna force the football downfield. There's a good run by David Montgomery, and Whitehair will check out. Like he got injured. It's like it would be a hand injury. That is not good. And that is overthrown. I have to shuffle on the line. That injury is, and he is done for the season. That is a knee cartilage tear. So at right guard, we're going to shuffle in John, uh, Jonathan Mason at, set, at right guard. At center, we are going to pull in Eric Amaya. He's played a little center in college, so it's not a... Big issue by any means. But we'll see if Mason can hold his own at right guard. If not, we might have to make a change. Go to Owen Peterson, who was on our Super Bowl run a couple years back. Let's hand it off to Corey Cohen there. Like at six, Darnell Mooney's gonna come in motion. We're gonna see if we can get this. And he does, Darnell Mooney into the end zone. Let's go. Jabril Peppers just not able to get out the outside. Good blocks downfield. That's what we do. It's what we need to start. I thought we might have some issues in the playoffs. Because we did end the season with what, four losses, four uh, game losing streak, or no, a three game losing streak. Then we won the last game of the season against the Cardinals, but I kind of figured we'd have some issues. But with the Packers and who we play in this, we just need to take care of the football. Our defense just needs to play well. And in motion there. Mac is going to be in coverage. He doesn't, but Saquon is going to take that distance. Looks like 15 yards, 16 yards are going to get him. If he gets in the zone, we're going to have some real big issues. That's on the outside. You got to make that play. And Kyle Fuller is trying to play the ball, and Slayton takes that to the house. Darius Slayton, 59 yards. And the Giants are an extra point away. In that fast, the Giants. They respond. Jeffers just not able to get off any tackles. Ever since Cordell Patterson retired, I believe, we've had issues in the uh, return game. Is that really a man coverage there? It is. That is really a man coverage, and there's nothing we can do about it. Is triple cover downfield. Jesus. He's going to drop back into coverage. We will have Allen Robinson break a tackle. Let's go, baby. Joe Burrow out there throwing to Anthony Miller. 
Warmer Bear. When he checks in the outside. Little dangerous throw, but quick throw to Mims. This is the play I actually wanted. Rick Cohen's going to get this one. Break it outside, just nowhere to go there. Manning with the stop. Tomlinson comes in and cleans it up. Rick Cohen looks like that was a face mask by Alex Anzalone. And it was. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands, having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Go it away. Now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The judge was dead to rights there. Maybe you get it in pre snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. Up the middle and nothing but room. David Montgomery. Ah, uh, the block in the back by Cole Comet, maybe. Holding. That's disgusting. That's by Tolbert. The other side of the line. So he was holding from that left tackle position. <laughs> Everyone tries to keep hey, their hands inside 50. when they're blocking. And this is a We can extend them out. Sometimes they get out a little wide. Mims has it on the one. We fit that into the zone. Up the middle. Touchdown. David Montgomery. All right, defense. Offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive summit. Agreed. What you were looking for is a defense. Good covers on the outside. Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. 58, boys. 58. 58, Mike. First down. It's cleaned up by Malik Hooker. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. There's Jalen Johnson. Many crossing routes there. Good man. Wow. Saquon. The move, bro. Times do we say in this game is speed kills and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, we get a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Facing a second and two, Tampa two, Tampa two. Operating from the gun, that's complete to Slayton. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 
19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. They'll try and run through with Barkley. They'll say no gain on Saquon is taken down by, what's that, Khalil? Line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. Another drive for Barkley. Wow. Max saves a touchdown, but it is a face mask. So, I mean. Unbelievable. Well, we looked at each other. Is there a face mask or a touchdown? And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you can throw the flag. Saquon right up the middle. I mean, it's not like Mac making that penalty is massive. If Mac doesn't do that, that's a touchdown. Anyway. Hey, Jeffers. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And Charles Hoy touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides of this thing. It's starting to feel like behind the blitz and just knocked out of his hands. Come on, A Rob. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Here's the throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. A couple extra tight ends in the formation. Here's a line up third and two. First down. They get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So from the 36 now, first and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. He's got this one completely to Mills. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. They go play action here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Can we get Darnell Mooney out here? We got it once from the ball to 20. And we got it again. A little questionable block on the outside, but Jabril Peppers did not get there. Again, we get him with that play. I think it's out of a different formation there. And coverage. Teddy Jackson forced him out of bounds. Great. Now he's in the zone. We're going to have issues now. Here. 
Really? He got one yard out of that. One yard. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC championship. A reminder as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. And a bit the coach is with us per usual. As we start to look at Charles, our potential matchups in this year's Take a timeout down, third down. Coach, break it down. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. And yeah, this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Here we go. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Saving a pick there. Now defensively. You've almost got to get down in those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on the offense and find a way to roar through the ball. To get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. And Robinson with a big catch. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A game here of 12 yards and first down for the Bears. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute. You got to make that play, though. Jabril Peppers, the former first round pick there on the coverage. Watch the run, watch the run. And he'll be hit as he releases it. Better get that to TY. Darnell Mooney, the target there. And that'll make it third down. Come on, come on, D. 45. Again, he'll drop the throw. Oh, snap. That should have been picked. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration. That was a bad decision. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And it'll be giant football first and ten. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and ten. Jim, 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 Jim. From the gun, Higgins. Finds his tight end, Ingram. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. As it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. He's going to find... Oh, did he catch that? Yeah, he did. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. As they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And Kyle Fuller takes this. That's gone. Saquon ain't catching me. Rookie mistake. Young player mistake. Whatever Higgins is. I think he's been in the league three years. But just nowhere to go on it. She doesn't see that Fuller is just looking right at Harris. That's a two. Door game. Never saw him. It deflates the other side and they never pick it back up. And then things really go from there, don't they? That's the thing for me. We talk about momentum changes. A play like that is the ultimate momentum change. And not go, wanting go. to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Going after the interception. Giants gonna oh, burn yeah. their third and final timeout. 
As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Operating from the gun. Higgins. That's it for the first quarter. Up two scores. We've played pretty well against the Giants. The biggest thing is they don't have any weapons on the outside that are like massive. But we can kind of counter them. Show with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line. Let's get back to it. Same thing with the Steelers. I don't think we'll, if, if we make it there, I don't think we'll be playing a very crazy offense. The defense will be good. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll keep pounding. First down. We know that old expression. It's not my night. It hasn't been his. No, not first down. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but... It's been a tough game for him. Every oh, do I? Up. Somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Elon cleans that up. Possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's the Giants' offense now, getting set to start the third quarter. And Charles, they trail by a couple of scores, but if they can put a good drive together here and go a long way toward getting them... Knocked back. away by Jalen Johnson. Let's go. ...checklist of things that they need to do in the second half. Job number one was getting a stop, wasn't it? So, big check right there. Now they want to see if their offense can build on that momentum. He's going to wind up and air it out. Pushed out of bounds by Kyle Fuller. It's out of bounds incomplete. This offense in desperate check, need check, of a conversion check, check. as they come up on third down. Down, down, down. On the gun, Higgins. Get this out to and Roquan, a Roquan with a stop, baby. Let's go. Yard line well short of first down Playing solid defense, man. And it'll be fourth down. How about that strategy? Keeping everything in front of us. Position to start out first and ten at their own 37. They'll look to throw here. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Cole Komet, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. This one complete downfield on the That was a dangerous throw. Bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Coming right, this is Montgomery on the toss. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. We ain't giving him nothing. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. And that's dropped by Allen Robinson. These drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in the stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed. Not a good look. So they'll play the field position game here. As a nice punt is going to pin him back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that. That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? 
Come on, Kyle. He's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. He's out north of 100 yards receiving now in this NFC Championship game. And it's a first down. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's go. 56 to Mike. 56. Check 56. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. And Elam with the stop. Get him out of the zone. Get him with another stop. Higgins, though, trying to get that out and just can't. Saquon, forced out of bounds. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25 yard line. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And that'll be a return of 12, following a very this. nice punt. And possession will switch hands first and ten. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. We get him. Open. No. Dump off here complete. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. Out of the gun, running with for about four up to the 46 that yard line. Go. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball All carrier. Day, and guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator and keep carrying it. Thank you. And that will be wow. That was off the mark, Judge. Defensively, when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. <laughs> Seven yards on the punt with no return. And the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory with a first and ten. The Giants' offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. These drives just wound up going nowhere. Richards with the stop there. Bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now. I'm coming for you. Gonna take a shot for Gallup. It got his man complete. Come on, Hooker. That's just bad coverage. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though. That'll trend him in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. But if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll expire their defense. Knocked out of his hands. And Nichols makes some contact as well. When you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for a big tight end. Kind of bottled up uh, Saquon this game. Eleven yards there, first down. You got tight. You got tight right there. One quarter remains until the NFC crowns its champion. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Fifty-eight to Mike. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight to Mike. On first down, Higgins to Barkley for the check down. And he's brought down at the 34. Yeah, baby, call it boom. a gain of four. Okay, They'll contain him to just four. Mark, Second down. Hey, pick your game up. 56. 56. Right there, right there. 56. Ready? Throw left side complete to He's going to run out of bounds. I mean, try to go upfield. He's out of bounds. The Giants on third down. Just one for five to this point. This time it's third and three. 
Force him out of bounds. Using the uh, line on the outside as an extra man. Remember that sound so much? Saw Cody Parkey do it four times in the game last year. Darnell Mooney, let's go, baby. Normally, you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they passed it was such success. Oh my God, he just dropped the ball, and luckily, Judge saves the tackle. But our defense that's held them in check. That should be picked by Jackson. Go to his own again. Uh, let's see if we can get I was going to sit right in my zone. Uh, nowhere to go for Saquon. Everyone was there. And Goodson off the corner blitz. What a crazy, crazy play call to do there, and it worked. What a play call. Good sin, good strong, solid tackle. Second 13, keep him in front of you. I'm in front. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And that's picked off by Malik Cooker. We're going to take it out of the end zone. I don't know why, because the momentum took us there, but maybe Hooker is the answer here. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. Let's see what's in free agency. Mainly because paying him is going to be a pain, I think. If we haven't already. If he's been paid, then keep him. He hasn't been paid. That's going to be a lot of money. I think. Whoops, I meant to throw that in, in the inside. Trying to go for it anyway. So the Bears 
Bills with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. First down. That'll be game. And the Chicago Bears going to the Super Bowl. Third time in five years. Let's go. Judge's second trip to the big show. We're going to do the victory formation. Let's go against the Steelers nonetheless. Don't know where the Super Bowl is at this point. Kind of cycles it wherever it wants to go. Obviously, we're going to give this tree cone. We're not going to risk Judge getting injured here. The simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't Victory formation. Clayton Judge out of Alabama. And it can backfire on them. He's done some great work. And the crowd on its feet, and understandably so. Allen Robinson vying for what would be his third. Cole Komet is third. Keem Hicks is third. Kyle Fuller is third. This was the goal before they started the season to play in a Super Bowl. And maybe T.Y. Hilton can get one playing on this team. Eddie Jackson getting his third. And that does it for the conference championship. What a big day. We'll have to see who makes the Pro Bowl. As well, this episode. Then we'll kind of look through like the big players. See if they made the Pro Bowl and they're just not going to play. But here we go, the stats. Higgins bottled up at two interceptions. Judge, two touchdowns, clean slate, but not a great game. 18 of 30, so not a great completion percentage, but still played well. David Montgomery, 78 yards, one touchdown. Saquon, 81 yards and one touchdown. Did have one fumble by David Montgomery. There's Slayton, a buck six. Denzel Mims, 91. Slayton had a touchdown as well. Two touchdowns by Darnell Mooney. Three receptions off 60 yards. On the defense, Brian Manning had the most tackles. Eddie Jackson coming from the safety position. Tackles for loss. Not a lot here. Sacks by Juwan Goodson and Akeem Hicks. Only two on the day. Monty Hooker had an interception and Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller took that one to the house. Fourth fumble by Harold Landry. And it recovered by Malik Harrison. So that'll be it for the conference championship. Your Chicago Bears are going to the Super Bowl. We'll see here Denzel Mims in his first Super Bowl appearance. We'll see how what he can do. He is a superstar. Monty Hooker is a star, only 26 years old. We give him run support here. And coverage tackle zone coverage man cover 74 Darnell Mooney breaking into the 80s slot receiver awareness catching break tackle medium route okay okay we did take one injury there it will be Cody Whitehair he will be out we're gonna place him on the IR we're going to pull in a uh, down for practice squad. Do we have any old linemen? We don't. So we're going to assign 
a free agent offensive lineman. Not going to be someone starting. We have what would technically be our starters. And he is familiar with the offense in case we have any other injuries. It would be Laurent Duvernay Tardif. Remember, he's not going to be starting. So that's going to be one thing we're going to have to deal with. At center, we are going to go ahead and give the start next game to Eric Amaya. He will be the starting right guard over or it'll be the starting center over on right guard though we're gonna have hartwell can start or we can have mason i think we're gonna put mason here mason's gonna start amaya is going to be the center mason is going to be out here and we'll see if Laurent Duvernay Tardif does have to play long term. If if there's an injury, he will come in and play. Uh long snapper will be James Daniels. We're good there. Alright, let's see. Next is the Pro Bowl. Let's see the playoff bracket first. We know the Bengals lost the Steelers to see how close this was. A lot of points in the game. Looks like maybe a Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh came back and won that in the second half. So Brent Green, three touchdowns. Joe Burrow had two touchdowns, but two picks. Rushing. Well, it was all about Joe Mixon. Only 48 yards and a touchdown. Brent Green had a rushing touchdown. No fumbles there. James Washington, a buck 30 and a touchdown off eight catches. Michael McCain, 85 yards. Anthony Miller, the former Bear, playing in here in Cincinnati, 84 yards, one catch. Looks like Juju Smith Suster only had 66 yards. John U. Smith had uh, 27 yards off one catch. Deontay Johnson, three catches, 21 yards, and a touchdown. Eric Ebron, two catches, 13 yards, and one touchdown. Tackles, Devin Bush doing work. Von Bell for the Bengals, just not enough work. Carl Lawson had a sack. Alex Highsmith, two interceptions by Avery Williamson and Jonathan Jones. No force fumbles. And that will be the Steelers taking on the Bears. Here we go, Pro Bowl roster. Higgins from the Giants does make it. Lamar Jackson, Patty Mahomes, Jordan Love, Jameis Winston, Joe Burrow, Zeke, Jacobs, Mixon, McCaffrey, Barkley, Henry, uh, uh, Richard, Dusrick, Blessing Game, Nix, DuVernay, Thomas, Williams, Tariq Hill, Robinson Rhodes. I think Rhodes is a young guy as well. I think that's Justin Jefferson, probably. Yeah, Justin Jefferson. Devin Funches. Keenan Allen. Brennan Ayuk. Chris Godwin and Brown. I'm not sure what Brown that is. George Kittle. Kelsey, Croft, Higby, Hurst, Waller, the tight ends. Left tackle will be Bakhtiari, Staley, Smith, and Williams. A guard, Hernandez, Quentin Nelson, Joe Thune, and Ellie Marpet. Center, Ragnow, Andrews, McCoy, Linder. Right guard, Zach Martin. Mason, Sheriff, and Bradshaw. A tackle, Ramzik, Lando Brown. Brown and McGlinchey on defense now. Darnell Hunter, English, Lawrence, and Joey Bosa. The other side, right end, Aaron Donald, Miles Garrett. I guess that's BJ Hill and Nick Bosa. So both Bosa brothers do make it here. Kenny Clark, Forrest Buckner, John Rankins, Fletcher Cox, Vita Vea. 
Landry, Martin, Clowney, Bowser, Greenlaw, Apple White, young guy. Okay. Zach Cunningham, Rashad Evans, Brown, Willie Gay, Harold Landry, Ikebum, Milano, Corner, Wouzier, Howard, Hilton. This is Kendall Fuller because uh, Kyle can't be in the Pro Bowl being in the Super Bowl. Nelson, Kenzie Alexander, James Bradbury on here. Okay. Richardson. I think that's Vaughn Richardson. Van Richardson's a receiver, I think. Xavier McKinney, Blair, Bard, Isaiah Simmons, Johnson, Abram, Neal, Tart, Gay, Tucker, Hecker, Sanchez, Phillips, Aiken, Ferguson, and Madison. So that's some good... Good stuff there. Let's see the couple of players that we might have had. Let's let's look at it like like this. The judge would have made the Pro, Pro Bowl. What week is it? Wild card. So that's his third. Allen Robinson would have. Four Pro Bowls. Mims. Mims did not get in there. What about Darnell Mooney? Darnell Mooney does not make it. Um, I think Tolbert should. Tolbert doesn't. But James Daniels. James Daniels does make it. But Eric Amaya, right guard. He doesn't. We know Purcell wouldn't. What about Komet? Komet does not make it as well. Let's look at the defense. So Roquan, I'm sure he probably made it. Yep, four Pro Bowls. Elam, does Elam get the snub? Yes, he does. He's not getting in. Khalil Mack, I'm sure, probably got in. Yeah, 10 Pro Bowls. But Jalen Johnson, he was up there. Jalen Johnson doesn't get in as well. What about Fuller? Al Fuller doesn't either. Okay, crazy. Very young. Very young as snub. Dakeem Hicks probably didn't make it. Hicks doesn't get in. At the end of the day, pretty good. From our guys, uh, Jeffers. Let's see if Jeffers have made it in the Pro Bowl. No. Rick Cohen and punt returning. No. Wow. That is crazy. Eddie Pinheiro, of course, would should have made it. No, he doesn't make it either. What? Snubs here, man. Some snubs. Tariq Cohen. We kind of use him. Some gadget stuff. So we got a couple of pro bowlers. James Daniels, Allen Robinson, Clayton Judge. We had a couple, which is good to see. We have what is the Super Bowl. So I do have this saved, so I know from here who made this who made the Pro Bowl. So we will I'll go back through eventually and look through the roster. Make some changes if no one was upgraded or not and kind of go from there. But we will advance to the Steelers. To the Stellars. Upgrade the players. Roquan Smith gets one to a 97. He's going to be a 99 overall. He is ridiculous. Mark Elam gets an upgrade here. He is going to stay a normal dev, it looks like. 
But 75 and a normal dev, I am fine with that. Speed too. Ooh, nice. Vante Jeffers. He's a normal dev. We'll give him slot right now. He might eventually have to come up and play. Tobias Wilkinson. Doing work. And he is a star dev at 22 years old. Oh, he is going to be... I think he's going to be great when he finally comes in and starts playing for us. Clayton Judge, the 96. Okay. 99 overall with the morale boost. And he had two skill points. The man is a legend already in Chicago. We have our... We have literally the best quarterback in the league. QB of the year. Offensive player of the year. Most valuable player of the year. Three Pro Bowls already in three seasons. He's been there. Done that. He's ready for the Steelers. Crazy. Crazy time. Let's preview the Steelers game. Everyone is at home. It's going to be the Bears and the Steelers. I'm going to start with Brett Green. His first, I think this is his first uh, playoff run in the franchise. And in his first playoff run in the franchise, he is going to be playing in the Super Bowl. It's a big one for him. James Conner, 84 overall. DeMar uh, Verdon, we saw him run a lot against some of their uh, opponents. Keenan Stephenson, Zach Van Dyke, Carson Casper, Juju smith suster at 27 years old, superstar. I don't know how he's not an X-Factor at this point, but he is doing work. Deontay Johnson, James Washington, this is a good receiving core. Alex Givens, who they added in the draft two years ago out of Auburn. Uh, needs a little help in route running, but hey, it happens. Hey, Sean Peterson as well. Just needs some short and medium route running. He looks good. Eric Ebron, Ty Dillard, they drafted two years ago. Kind of a project, but... Hey, when you have Eric Ebron, you can take a project like that. Theo Hyde will be the left tackle. Uh, Mello Cummings. Phil Haynes. David DeCastro here, long time. White Teller's here at 73. I might make a change here. In fact, I am going to make a change here. Okay, I'm gonna make I'm gonna put Lamb on the other side. This will actually bolster their line, as opposed to make it worse. So it's gonna make the game harder. Uh, I typically do this sometimes, but at this point, since it's such an obvious issue that this would upgrade their line, we're gonna do that. Hundred percent. I'm going to put Spriggs on the inside at right guard. So the line will be better when we play them. So instead, we have a left tackle, Demario Lamb, who's an 84 overall. Melo Cummings, Bill Haynes, David DeCastro, White Teller. So better line as we spread that out for him. Stephen Tewitt, Levi, Mabry. Brent Nabbitt, okay. Cameron Hayward, Alexander Carrington. Eddie Goldman came over here. I don't think we traded him over here. Maybe we did. But uh, he's anchoring this defense now. Andrew Billings, Greg Dansby, Isaiah Beckwith, TJ Watt, who was injured. He's going to be out with knee, cartilage, air. 
So we might see a little, uh, little bit of Keenan Huntington and maybe some Zach Overton at this point since he is hurt. Is he like a dev? No. We'll kind of see what he does, but Zach Overton looks great. You got Kevin Cousins. Yes, this guy, this team is going to be good. Devin Bush, Avery Williamson, Kendall Beckwith, they play a 3-4 as well, don't they? Yes, they are playing a 3-4 like we are. Corners, Jonathan Jones, 30 years old, 81 overall, still doing work here in Pittsburgh. Quincy Wilson, A.J. Terrell came over from the Falcons. Terrell Brooks. They drafted two years ago. He's 24 years old. Probably doesn't have a lot of upside after this, but let's see how he plays. Mika Fitzpatrick, Jamie McCree, Will Parks, Drod Wilson. Offseason, I might move McCree over, but I mean, this, this is a good, decent secondary. Chris Boswell, Blake Gilkin. Here are their draft picks. Here is their practice squad. No big deal. Everyone else is much sign their practice squad because they are not in the playoffs and that will be your super bowl preview but i do want to look at the injury report for both teams we're going to be without cody Whitehair. he is on the ir the steelers will be out be without tj watt he is also on ir so it's gonna be a big one here super bowl let's go I will see you guys in the next episode. Go ahead and leave a like below, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Later.